first episode of Can You Build This? What I've done is I asked all of you viewers to send me in some emails, some questions, some photos, and let me see what it is you want to see built. So I have uh, Jody from Santa Fe, New Mexico asks, I've seen you build some of these ceilings and some of your wall panels, and I want to see if you could show me how to build these. And would you be using the CNC or would you be using hand tools on this? So normally on the panels I make, uh, I do these like geometric designs. And if I did it by hand, it would take me way too long. So that's why I use a CNC on this so I can do uh, repetition and I can have consistency of product where I can take my same design and I can either make it smaller or larger depending on where it is that they're going. So to show you, Jody, the piece that I'm gonna build, I made a wall panel that's about five, six inches deep, and then I'm gonna do a couple different layers to show you just how to pull in more of a 3D aspect to it. So what I do when I take this design is I'll sketch something out. I usually use Adobe Illustrator once I solidify my graphic, and then I'll get into that, and then I'll make my vector art file from that. All the machines usually work off a vector file format. Um, so I'll take that, and once I put that into the machine, I have to do these little tabs on the pieces so the vacuum table will hold the pieces down that are cut out, but once they have the tabs on them, you won't affect the machine or break any bits, so it's a little bit safer way to go. Once I pull the piece out after it's cut, I use a jigsaw and I'm going to cut all these pieces out and then I sand and smooth them out and make sure the, pieces, uh, make sure the piece looks great. On the table saw, I'm going to rip these pieces to an inch and a half and that will give me the depth on the middle piece. Once I put all the pieces together and they're all glued and stapled in, I'm going to take my very top piece, I'm going to stain that one out just so I can show you just the separation of how many pieces are in there. You don't want it to be too busy, but you can make them a little crazier if you want. So Quentin from Milwaukee asks, uh, why did you choose a CNC because it doesn't really seem like your style? And as I was saying before in the making this, the wall panels, it's so I can make everything consistent and the same over and over and over. Whenever you have to do a production run or commercial run, if I'm doing everything by a hand router, it just takes way too long. Uh, there are a lot of people that will say they don't like the smart tech because it takes the handmade out of it. But anytime I've ever done any of this, it, uh, I just like it to be faster. I just want everything faster and cleaner. And if I know that if I'm working late at night, that the machine will also be working late at night. And it doesn't ask for anything else except what it is I tell it to do. So in my shop, I gotta say the CNC has been my employee of the month every month since I've got it. Um, the beauty of once I set material on the CNC, it will be cutting it and it'll be cutting it and doing its job while I can do other things and I can be building other pieces. So I have, with just me solo in the shop, it's still the, the benefit of having two or three people. So people say handmade versus smart made. Um, I, it just all depends on what you want to do. I get asked a lot if I use any of the tech equipment when I'm working with concrete or steel. So there's it, everything depends on what it is I'm going to be doing. I use a CNC all the time in concrete molds because I can, I can create like an emboss or deboss logos, uh, pictures, anything like that that I can give just an extra added feel. I can put like the grains of wood in one of my molds and then when I pour my concrete on I can get those out and I can also adjust how deep those are going to be. So depending on the project is what I will use the tool for. Um, I use the laser all the time for etching and engraving and I can cut consistent smaller material out and thinner than it is on the CNC where it's uh, kind of picking out quick quickness and how you want the finish look to be also. So depending on what it is I'm going to be doing is where I pick which tool. So in a rough way of asking and answering, I'd say if I use the tech tools on between metal and concrete, I try to be the most efficient with any project I do because time is always crucial. And anytime I can use a machine, once you hit play, that's going to keep doing its job while I can do another job. So being a solo in the shop, I try to use any of the tech tools as much as I can whenever I can. If you'd like to see how anything else is built, or if you have any questions on something you want to see built, made, done, drawn, designed, uh, send us an email at wesnovember at gmail.com, and we'll get back to you and possibly build your cool idea. Thanks for watching.